Hi, my name is Cindy Farr and I'm the Incident Commander for the Missoula City County Health Department's COVID-19 response. Today is Wednesday, July 29th, and this is my daily briefing. We've had 232 cumulative positive cases of COVID-19 to date in Missoula County. That's up 12 since yesterday. 229 of those cases were identified by testing and three were epi-linked. We've had 169 recoveries and one death. Four non-county residents remain hospitalized in Missoula County. We've had, we have 62 active COVID-19 cases with more than 270 close contacts. Active cases and their known contacts are in quarantine and isolation and will continue being monitored and supported as needed. The state of Montana is reporting 3,676 cumulative COVID-19 cases, which is up 201 cases from yesterday. There are now 1,410 active cases with 59 active hospitalizations across the state. There have been 54 deaths related to COVID-19, which is three more lives lost since yesterday's report. It looks like we've officially entered our hot summer season here in Western Montana. This means that we have high temps in the 80s and 90s, fire season is creeping in with smoke looming in the distance and our nights aren't really cooling off like they used to. Please take care of yourself and stay cool as we hit high temps throughout this week. Find shade, stay indoors where it's cool, grab a, a river to sit in or soak in and make sure you drink plenty of water. Wear those face coverings when needed in public settings and carefully remove them when you're in situations that don't require them. Today, I wanna to cover some ep epidemiological information, providing some insights into COVID in Montana and closer to home here in Missoula County. First, I wanna be really clear. We have cases in Missoula County. We have cases in Missoula proper, as well as in the rural parts of the county. In our community, we sometimes refer to Missoula when we're talking about the town, and sometimes we refer to Missoula when we're talking about the county as a whole. So I just want to be sure that you know and understand that when we're reporting case information like active and cumulative cases, as well as close contacts, we are referring to people uh, across all reaches of the county. Remember that we don't share any personal confidential health information in order to protect individuals' rights to privacy. This health information also includes location information. We don't provide location information about specific cases or their close contacts. The lowest level of data that we will report is at the county level. We won't call out specific towns or neighborhoods or other more specific location information in order to honor, respect, and abide by HIPAA, ensuring that we are protecting personal confidential health information. To this end, we work privately and confidentially with individuals and organizations if and when they're impacted by COVID. That being said, if and when a situation merits a formal public health announcement whereby we need to notify residents and visitors alike of possible exposure, so think about a major a restaurant or a major event with lots of people coming and going, the health department absolutely steps in for public health and safety and will cast a wide net letting the public know of specific dates and times of that at that location if that means that we're protecting the public health and safety. Again, I wanna reiterate this point so that the community doesn't think that COVID is only affecting the city of Missoula. We have cases and close contacts all across our county. The face covering rule applies to the entire county and it is intended to shore up safety measures across the county, reducing opportunities for COVID-19 to spread. We've been working with the University of Montana School of Public and Community Health Sciences throughout our response effort. This working relationship is bolstered by our academic health department status, which is a formal acknowledgement of our professional relationship with the University of Montana School of Public Health. Prior to our COVID response, we worked closely with the UM on a variety of things like research collaboration, internship opportunities, professional development, sharing resources, and more. Since the outset of our response efforts, we've worked closely with the University of Montana and their epidemiologists and their grad, graduate students. This partnership helps keep our entire effort data informed and data directed. We meet weekly to review current epidemiological information and we share updated epidemiological data each week on our county website. You can find those weekly reports on our website at missoula.co slash cvirus and review them to see the kinds of cases that we've had and currently have, as well as other important information like exposure type, um, cases by age and gender, cases and, and symptoms, and many more. So take a peek at those and we'll take a deeper dive into that data on tomorrow's briefing. So that's it for my briefing for today. Um, as always, you can subscribe to me on YouTube under my name, Cindy Farr, that's C-I-N-D-Y-F-A-R-R. -R. Click that notification bell so you get notified when additional videos are uploaded. Check out our website at missoula.co slash cvirus. 
Um, you can follow us on Facebook at the Missoula City County Health Department's Facebook page, and you can call 258-INFO if you would like to schedule a test or you just have general questions about COVID-19. So until tomorrow, everybody, stay healthy.